popular Nigerian comedian Debo Adebayo, who is popularly known as Mr. Macaroni, has caused reactions as he broke the silence after he was granted bail from police custody. The popular comedian was arrested yesterday morning at Lekito Plaza after showing that he is among the protesters that justice to be served of the justice to be served of the alleged killing of unarmed protesters on the 20th of October 2020. The comedian was alleged dehumanized by the Nigerian police force after he was arrested for being a partaker of the Occupy Lake Ito Gate protest that took place at Lake Ito Gate 2 Plaza on Saturday. Aside from what happens at the Lake Ito Gate on Saturday, there were clashes between Fulani and Yoruba people in the Shasha market where many shops belong to Fulani. Any goods were also disrupted and all goods were disrupted and some Fulani ran for their lives in Ibado. Despite the treatment that the famous comedian experienced when he was arrested at Lake Itugit, what he said was a little bit surprised, surprised people. He said that Aousa man is his brother, likewise Igbo and Yoruba man, we are all one. He added that the government and the government alone is responsible for the insecurity in Nigeria. He then pleaded for peace and explained further he will come back later to his matter. Hmm. Many people began to hail the comedian for his patriotism. Many can't keep their eyes from the comedian said, but to reply to him. And here are some reactions. Of course, you know, some people definitely, whether good or bad, something must be, there must be a response. You cannot force one Nigeria, but you can work it out through love and agreement. But some Yoruba guys have left their brain in the pit at their yard. They believe Northerners are behind their mischief. You got a good platform and a huge uh, whatever, but you have never seen Twitter frequently when Fulani Aousa are quick are killing the South. Yes, but actually, this one you are good at this and have a huge number of followers. But I have never seen you tweeted so frequently when the Fulani Aousa are killing the South. History has it, anybody can go back to check their tweets, which means you are also defending your axis. Uh, you will never be forgotten for this great step taken by you, Debo. You are cherished. Well, some people will not even, they don't see it as anything. You know, like I've always said, some people have purported in their hearts or they have believed that, you know, this kind of life that we are living in Nigeria is the best and there's nothing anybody can do about it. There is nothing that will change that. That is their belief. So it is always difficult or it will be very, very difficult to begin to talk to those kind of people. You know, they will see things differently. Some people, their hearts are evil. So... The situation in Nigeria is what is what is worth uh, uh, defending as far as they are concerned. I don't know where you got your strength from, but you are a great man, Debo, man of courage and man of honor. We must remember how to honor and respect life with each uh, breath, step, word, step, word, and thought. They say many heroes appear after the the war, after the war, and all through. Although the war isn't a, the war wasn't over yet, but I can loudly and confidently that you are hero. Your selfless acts will not only be written in the sands in time, but in the heart of every hopeful Nigerian. Welcome back. Was devastated seeing you cry was crying too mm. we stand with you we are one nigerian god is greater is the greatest day boy you are so loved we all we all we are all heartbroken by what you went through today you are the bravest and most compassionate that you are the hero god bless you uh this correct boy we are so happy to have you back See now, all of now, when sit down, they do cha 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 cha. I see now, come back now. Then what have you proved? You have proved that say, you will continue in this kind of suffering. Boy, has come back. Like somebody said, oh, we don't even know how he got this courage, this a uh, uh, boldness. No, because a lot of people, the, the factor is that a lot of people are are really, are really 
uh, uh, traumatized. A lot of people are traumatized with all these old things. So you can't blame them. And you know, in the midst of all this, is because a lot of people say, ah, beg you, don't go, don't go, don't go. If anything happens, uh, you know, Nigerians is not worth dying for. Nigeria is not worth defending. Nigeria is not worth supporting because they will turn around again to do this, to do that. So for him to have come out, how many celebrities were able to come out? Of course, can you blame them? So as he has come out, a lot of people are really appreciating him because the government thought and some of the people who are government children, even though they are suffering, they are saying they will never come out. They will never come out with the, what, what they experienced last time. They will never come out. Did they not come out now? They come out now to their surprise and to their own shame. The people still came out. Well, one thing you should learn from this tweet is that all the division in the country today is international, intentional. That is the divide and rule system. The south against the north, the west against the east. Once there is no unity, there can be progress in our fight against bad governments. You will never be forgotten for this great step taken by you, Debo. You are cherished. A king, uh, Stan, I stand. God bless you. I don't know where you got your strength from. Of course, here somebody has said that. Thank God it didn't include the full animal man because the three tribes he mentioned are the victims of Nigeria and full animal brutality. Well done, Mr. President. Youth hate Nigerian government. We hate Nigerian politicians, leader thieves. You will all suffer all the pain you have brought on Nigerians. This country will never know peace again. There is hunger and vengeance in the land of no rights and justice. Politicians and police will never have no peace. This country, Nigeria, must end. We don't want this kind of democracy again. This is not democracy that is being practiced. It is not working for us. Nigerians, go and get whatever you can get to defend yourself because even the Bauchi governor has said that those who are carrying guns are justified by doing that because they want to protect themselves. So if you feel aggrieved too, then you know what to do. It is expected of the police to provide security for the protesters and not to arrest them. I don't even understand though, the way these people are, are going about this whole thing. Mr. Macaroni uh, Spaghetti, I'm so sorry. We we will and shall win the war. Sue them illegal arrests and claim damages. Make them get sense. Okay. Nigeria have many intelligent citizens. Upon all the humiliation, he still stay. He still say the truth. I just want to say that God will surely reward you for fighting a just cause on behalf of all normal citizens of Lagos who understand that Lekki Togit is an aberration in the first place because it is a sort of double taxation on Lagosians using the root daily if 20% of the money that have been stolen from Lagos State Post in the last 20 years is collected back from the politicians and their civil servant collaborators Almost all the roads in Lagos State will be beautifully tarred and our democracy will surely be buoyant and we would be in abundance as it were in the Jaconde era, not revenue via cheating of Lagosians. Macaroni, you are my president now. You can see that even the so-called president will have a ordinary to talk, oh, he cannot come out and address his people. The old president that we have, he ordinary to talk, to address his people is a problem and they say he's the president.